Alright guys, in today's video we're going to be starting the build on the Craftsman I got, the one lawn tractor. You might have seen the shore I posted of it, putting the new motor on it. Well now, I got these egg tires and I'm going to be trying to make it into a little pulling tractor. So, there's the new tires I just bought. And let's get to taking the old tires off and then taking them off the rims and putting those on. Alright, let's start by getting this thing jacked up. Alright guys, so I always keep these uh, slime bottles because on the cap they got the valve stem remover tool. So first I'm going to take the valve core out to just let the air out. I got those, I don't know, I'm going to guess I'm going to have to heat up the B with the heat gun because it's, these tires are ancient and it's so cold out. This might be a job because it's not even moving with my weight on it. bunch of screwdrivers so I, I hopefully I don't bend the rim too bad if I even can get it in there because I don't have any all right I give up I'm just hoping that these don't have tubes in them at this point are impossible to get off the bead. I tried hammering and everything. Alright, so I think I'm going to take those tires to a tire shop because I cut those things in half after I couldn't get it. The crowbar was just going through the tire instead of breaking the bead. I cut them in half, still didn't work. Then I hooked the rope to both halves of the tire and pulled it against the tree with the Honda Pioneer. And all that we did was broke the rope and it didn't even budge. The bead will not come off of those things. So. I, anyways, I got this, um, four inch pulley, hopefully it'll work, it's got a deeper, um, than this, 
but hopefully it'll clear better because it's rubbing against some bars here. So I'm going to attempt to get this off and throw that on and that'll be it for this video because I'm just going to take those um, tires and get them mounted at the shop. That is if they even will mount the tires still after I <laughs> cut them in half like that. I don't even know if the tire machine would take that off very easily. And uh, two piece pulley. I guess that's nice. Easy to take off. Of course, those ones are half inch. They had one good design. Will the Kiwi fit? Oh my gosh, it fits. We're lucky today. I just need a mark that because I can't put that bolt back on. Alright, that's marked. And we gotta go cut it. I got that keyway cut. That's it. Now let's throw this bolt in. And then we'll get the little set screws tightened up. get everything set up and then we'll try it again. Alright, there we go. I got that on there good. So, this is going to be part one of this build. I'll, I'm going to have to take those tires to the shop to get them. Hopefully they still will do them. Because I cut them in half, which is... I don't know why I did that, but, um, in the next part, I'll show the tires, probably, done, and then, uh, I'm probably gonna pull the diff out, and then get everything ready to lock the diff on here, and then once that's all put back in, we'll go on to wheelie bar, weight rack, and hitch, and then we'll have ourselves a fancy craftsman pulling tractor that probably won't be able to pull nothing. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.